This is a good question. So this chatbot and a lot of chatbots now are using a technique called retrieval augmented generation. It's called RAG because it's actually quite expensive to train an LLM. So if we want to like take all of our company's knowledge based documents about all of our products and have it know about all that stuff, if we want to train it on that or even like fine tune a, another LLM, that's expensive. It's a lot easier to just have our knowledge base and our product manuals and our FAQs and all of that stuff be available to the chatbot. And we do a thing where we we embed it into vectors and those vectors give the meanings of what's inside of those documents. When someone asks a question, say they come to your website and they're like, hey, I need a cable that can hook up my MacBook Pro 13 to my Samsung G9 Odyssey monitor. And the, the LLM, if we're just using a vanilla LLM in the back, back end, it, it might not know that. Um, and it might give the wrong information too. But if the reg kicks in and says, okay, so these keywords, yeah, they match very strongly with this document and it's the, the manual for our USB uh, C to display port adapter cable. So now I'm gonna grab the relevant details. I'm just gonna stuff that into the prompt. So we saw the prompt was like, you're a, a helpful assistant for too many cables, a little bit of details about it. And then it'll be like, we found this knowledge base article that might help you with the question. Here's all the text from it. And then it'll be like, the user's question is this. And then all that's in the prompt that's sent to the LLM. And it just uses that. This opens up a lot of vulnerabilities though, because people are like, yeah, this works great because it does work really well. It's a really easy way to get a chatbot up and running. And people are like, oh, we got all this stuff. We got so much, you know, we got our Confluence articles. Like, let's let's get all this stuff. Um, let's get in the rag. And it can be easy to have stuff slip through. Like we saw in this example, there's like one um, person who did bad security practices and they put keys inside of uh, like Confluence document or something. And then it gets vectorized and it's in a vector database. And like people forget about it until um, someone triggers that lookup and they're able to retrieve it. And yeah, it says like, hey, Here's the, the secrets or whatever. So that is how it has access to uh, website files, not just a plugin.